Hey, Heather from Hooked on Pickin' here. I had a question on uh, my YouTube channel on how do we go about so sourcing items from bulk.com? And so I wanted to share with you some of the ways that we go about it. My husband and I usually together choose a box or a pallet to buy. And so I brought him in on it. Um, so my partner in crime, my hubby, can you say hi? Hello. All right. And so we're going to kind of walk you through. This is the bulk website. All you have to do is www.bulq.com to get to this website. And then we'll show you basically from there how you go about uh, at purchasing and looking at different things to buy. So here we go. Okay, what you'll first see on the screen there is you see the bulk up at the top left. You see the different categories that you can shop by condition, uh, shop newly added. You see that new price drops. That's something really neat to be able to look at. Also, it shows you the different uh, boxes or pallets that they're dropping the price on. I believe what is taking place there is it has sat there for a while, so they're trying to move it. But the, the, but the biggest thing that you're gonna look at when you first pop up bulk is just click on the shop newly added inventory right in the middle of the screen. So hopefully this works for me. And it did, good deal. It will pop up what is for sale that day. They do have, if you notice there, um, oh, a little towards the top there, it says inventory added daily at 11 a.m. and 2 p.m. Eastern uh, Standard Time. Um, pallets go very quickly. So if it's 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time where you're at, um, within about the first 15 minutes, there will be several pallets sell. Or cases. Or Yes, or cases that will sell. Now, one of the strategies that we use is we don't necessarily go after those pallets uh, that, that are quick sellers. I'm not exactly sure what people's strategy is to, to buy something that they could have barely looked at. Maybe they have advanced and just know the products a little bit better and uh, good on them if they do. But I, I, we try not to gamble with our money and so we want to look things up. And so we want to show you how we go about doing that. One of the first things that I do as we're looking through these pallets is you'll notice that that very first pallet on the screen that says, it's not a pallet, it's a box, it's a case. But it says women's shoes, men's shoes, apparel and accessories, and then it gives some of the brand names. And it says the original retail is $1,572. Does that mean that you could sell every product in there for $1,572? In a perfect world, yes. But if you're a reseller, you know that very rarely do you get the original retail price. Right, Heather? Right. Absolutely. Uh, but the, um, they're not asking you to spend $1,572. If you look right across there, you'll see it's $117 to buy that case, and it's $30 to ship it. Uh, notice the, it's an uninspected returns uh, case. It's right underneath the blue lettering that is showing you the case. And there's 25 items in that case. So one of the strategies that I look for is the difference between the 117 plus the 30, which is 147, figure a little bit of a tax, a little bit of fees on there. You're looking at about $150. Can I make 10 times my money on that pallet? Yes, I could if I could sell it for the original retail cost. So, so that is a pallet right there that we would look at to see, uh, could we sell these things? Another thing you want to take into consideration too is when looking at the pallets, make sure if you're an Amazon FBA or these are categories you can sell in. I know a lot of people cannot sell in the shoe category or the bath and health and beauty category. So make sure when you're looking at this that they are categories that you can sell in. Uh, that, that's a great point. Um, we have purchased pallets before, tried to sell the products in it, and we just, we can't because we, we're not uh, ungated in those categories. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to scan, I'm scan up actually, and uh, let you see some of the different kinds of pallets. Notice there's all kinds of different things. Uh, there's a category of brand new, unexpected returns. You see the different amount of items in each of the boxes. That definitely changes your price point of how much money that each of those items is going to cost you. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get down. I'm going to even going to go to, uh, let's see, 
Uh, let's go to the second page just to show you there's tons of them. And we're going to pick a box and just try to go through a little bit, uh, another couple of tips and strategies. Sorry if this is scanning a little too quickly for you. Just notice all the different things. Let's just stick to this cell phone accessories, consumer electronics, and then some brand names. Notice that it's $471 plus the 30 shipping. It's going to cost us $500, probably about $510, $515 with some fees tacked on. Okay? And it's saying the original retail is $5,867. Now, you're still you're making your 10 times your money from the original retail, so that's good. Uninspected returns. What does really uninspected, uninspected returns mean? From what we have discovered in the cases and pallets that we've purchased that are uninspected returns, um, it looks like somebody buys it at a store, they bring it back, maybe it was the wrong color, they didn't like it, it was a gift, and when, they, when it returns, when they get it back, um, they, they just go into the store and they return it. Well, often what those stores do is they don't put it back on their shelves. Some stores do, but many stores don't. And they'll throw it in some bin and it gets shipped off to bulk. So uh, we have had uh, really good success with uninspected return boxes. Well, let's move on. It's uninspected returns, 148 items. This is a case. This is not a pallet. This is a box. Uh, that will come to your house. So let's go ahead and click that for some more tips. It will bring you to this next screen that allows you to investigate a little bit further. Okay. Now you see where it's shipping from Kentucky in the 54 pounds. That doesn't mean they're going to raise the price for you to ship it to them. They don't do that. It's a flat $30 fee to have them uh, um, shipped to you. You see where it says uninspected returns? It gives you a description, a little bit more of what, they, uh, what they're what they explaining that to you for. One of the things I really, really like is this 148 items right underneath where it says uninspected returns in the description. 148 items, and it even averages out $3.18 an item. So that kind of gives you an idea of when you look something up on your Profit Bandit or your Amazon seller app, you can know, okay, I'm approximately spending $3.18 per item, and I usually overguesstimate because of tax and things and shipping and things like that. The $3.18 is based on the $4.71 price, so I always tack on the $30 of shipping whenever I um, put in how much I actually paid for the item. So I'll go probably more like $4 an item, but that way it'll give you an idea whether or not you can um, flip the item for an actual profit and you won't be losing any money. All right, excellent, excellent points. Now we're gonna scan uh, down here a little bit. It will give you the categories of what's in that, uh, that case, uh, the top brands that are in there. Maybe you're looking for a specific brand, you've had good luck selling a brand. Uh, sometimes that does help us, but here is really what is gold. Look at this. They give you the manifest of what is in that case. You see right across that, that first item, the brand is Yellow Thread. The product name is a Bluetooth car speaker. A category, cell phone accessories. It gives you, notice that, the UPC code right there. And then sometimes the ASIN if they have it, sometimes not. And then the quantity that's in that box. That is fantastic. This helps you not to gamble with your money. You can actually look up every single item in that box and see, could I sell this for a profit? We're going to just look down a couple uh, down here, and let's go ahead and click one, and I'll show you what we do to help us a little bit. Let's stick with the, uh, the third one down. Uh, the, the A Duro Grip Clip Universal Rear View Mirror Phone Mount. Perfect. What I do is, depending on your device, I grab a hold of that UPC code. Now I can here, just like that, and I just copy it. Now, I'm going to move to a different screen. I'm going to go to Profit Bandit. So just bear with me for a second. I can do it real quick. I flip to Profit Bandit. And then I just come right up here to the barcode scanner, hold down, paste it right in there, hit Done, and it pops up. It's loading the sellers. There's the product right there. Actually, I'd already pulled it up for a second ago. And this... Uh, you can do this with your Amazon seller app. You can do this with Profit Bandit, various other uh, sourcing um, platforms you can do that with. 
No. One warning I want to make is if you're using Profit Bandit, which I really, really love because you can go down here to this white box, you can tap on that, and I can put in my $4 um, so that I know exactly how much I've spent, and I can see then my profit after fees is $5. That's really cool about Profit Bandit, but one warning I want to give you is sometimes Profit Bandit will say that you can sell it, in, an, in a category, but specific manufacturers um, will not allow you to sell in their category. So definitely always, if it's especially something that you're banking a lot of money making on this particular palette, if you're banking on getting money back for it, check it on your regular Amazon seller because it'll definitely pop up the restricted box if it is a restricted item. Now you may be able to sell in that category, but you might not be able to sell that specific item because it's specifically copyrighted for that manufacturer. So just be aware of that when you're using Profit Bandit. But otherwise, I love Profit Bandit because you can see all the information you need right there. Very good. Each of the items in the case or in the palette, you can look up this way and see, am I going to make a profit? Uh, Heather already placed in there $4. It's $5 of profit. I think there was three on the manifest. If everything in the perfect world works beautifully and you can sell it for the price that's there, which this looks fairly promising, except for the sales rank isn't the greatest, but it looks fairly promising, you could make $15 right there. You would do that, just uh, continue to repeat this process over and over. Would go back to bulk.com, you pick another item, scan the UPC code, grab a hold of it, however your device would do it, and just keep looking up those items. If I scan down here just a little farther, you notice you can download the complete manifest. It gives you basically uh, the top 10 in quantity here, showing 10 of 115 products. If you see at the very top where it says top products, showing 10 of 115 products. This gives you a good idea of what's there, but you can look up every single item if you want to. Now, if you're trying to buy a case or a palette and you're afraid that it's going to go real quick, you hopped on it right at the time that they're all released, they do move quickly, many of them do. A lot of times they're sold within the first five minutes. And so it may be that the short little amount of time that we've been talking and showing you that one item, this uh, actual case could have been already been sold. It, it, it could be, you know, it's first come first serve in, in buying these pallets and these products. But what you could do, uh, a tip if you will, is if you look up the first three or four and you have found that you're gonna make good money on those three or four, and it has come, uh, often what happens to us is it comes close to covering our cost of the whole box or the whole pallet. And so what we'll go ahead and do is say, you know what, I'm gonna buy it. I haven't looked up every item, but uh, I know that I have got my money safe to go ahead and purchase this, and we've been very pleased. Now, very pleased means this. We, we normally triple uh, to quadruple our money on cases, So, and it takes work. Um, Heather works off long hours to be able to get this, uh, these cases to go through. She does an excellent job. She looks everything up and um, it, it goes very well. Another tip since we're on this screen that I wanted to share with you is, remember when he scrolled down and you saw the download complete manifest option? When you actually purchase this and you will get emailed the complete manifest. And so one thing that I want you to be, uh, to encourage you with is while listing, a lot of times when you get the box, it doesn't have, the item doesn't have a barcode. You can look it up on the manifest because they each come with their own little barcodes from bulk.com and you can find that exact item. And sometimes you, it may or may not, if you look uh, where it says flashy deals, Apple certified lightning cable for iPhone um, 5, 6, 6S plus, do you notice that doesn't have a UPC or an ASIN number? So how in the world would I list it? But if you were able to have the name, a lot of times you can still find it on Amazon without the UPC code. And there have been multiple times where even the provided UPC code does not pop up in the inventory manifest on Amazon or Amazon FBA, but the name does with the exact same picture of what you're holding in your hand. And so keep that in mind when looking up things on Amazon. I know sometimes you run into things of you can't find the product, but if you can find the product, um, 
or you, you know what it looks like and you've seen it on Amazon, then a lot of times using the name is another way to look something up online to be able to be able to list it and sell it. Very good. If you keep scanning down a little bit farther, it talk, it'll tell you a little bit more about cases and about the unexpected returns. And that's pretty much how we go about uh, being able to source on bulk.com. Bulk now the case seems to arrive between two to three business days. It's really fast. We've, we've, I've been very pleased with that. Heather's been very pleased with that. When it comes to purchasing a pallet, think in terms of about 10 days. I think they, they say somewhere between seven to 10. We've had about right about at 10 days is what's been happening for us. Um, but um, you, you still very to, pleased. Yeah, you have to with pallets. You have to watch your email because after you purchase a, a pallet within two days, they usually send you an email to set up an actual uh, drop off time because you have to be present to accept the pallets. And so just be aware of that. Make sure that when you get a pallet, you have some place that's dry to be able to keep it. Don't just drop it in the middle of your driveway because sometimes it takes a while to go through. So if you've got a garage or a carport or a shed or something that they can put it in, that would be the most beneficial. Um, and so another thing I wanted to mention too is he was talking about getting 10 times your money. That's just the way that we view how we, uh, which case do we even want to investigate while on bulk.com. Um, that's not how much money we're going to make. Usually we make anywhere from two to three times what we paid for the item. But when wanting to investigate a case or a pallet, if we can look and go, oh, okay, it says we pay this and the retail purchase price is 10 times what that is, then generally that's one we're going to investigate. And so I hope this has been super helpful. Anything else you have? Oh, I'm good. All right. If you guys have any questions about this, please let us know. Leave them in the comments. I try to answer the comments within a week or so, um, usually even the same day. So um, if you like our website and YouTube channel, please subscribe and tell your friends about us. And remember, in the end, Jesus wins.